right guys in this video it's just a simple uh, heat kit swap out basically i am so used to doing heat pumps because where i used to live in alexandria that's all we did was heat pumps that's all we sold well down here in south louisiana i can't sell them people don't want them uh because the other ac companies around here have given them such a bad reputation and it's because they don't know how to work on them and uh and mainly don't probably don't know how to wire them up at installation the low voltage so they have such a bad reputation here you can't sell them every time i bring up moving people to a heat pump they don't want to hear it so that's why i don't sell heat pumps here that to answer a lot of you guys's questions anyway but i have that mentality in my head you know of heat that i have a heat pump outside so i always go down on the electric heat kit like this was a five ton system that you're going to see that had a and the old system we all all we did was change the air handler because the people are selling the house but i was so used to having a heat pump outside they had a 20 kw heat kit and i dropped it down to a 15 kw you know i'm thinking heat pump outside they don't need 20 kw worth of heat they don't even really need 15 but you know i went ahead and put 15 but I didn't, you know, I don't have a heat pump outside. I got a straight cool air conditioner. So we did get a cold snap not too long ago. And he called me and he said, hey, John, that, that new unit you put in, he said, uh, it doesn't heat up as good as the old one did. And I was like, yeah. I said, that's, you know, that's on me. That's my bad. You know, I dropped a heat kit from a 20 KW to a 15 and uh, he asked me if i would come back and put a 20 and i said of course so what i do now is is and this is like the third customer i've had do this to me so um now what i do is i don't care what size the unit is if i'm doing a change out i pop the cover off and i look and see what size heat kit they have i don't care if it's a three ton with a 15 kw if it's a three ton system and it's got a 15 kw i go back with a 15 kw that way i don't have this problem anymore because i had to eat this job i had to eat the heat kit i had to eat the labor everything uh because it's a brand new install it's less than a month old uh so that's that's the way i do it but anyway it's it's you know it's not it's nothing too exciting of a video but it's better than nothing and i wanted to upload something so i hope you guys enjoy it here it comes Alrighty. So what we're doing here is we got a brand new air handler that we changed out a couple weeks ago. And I downsized the heat kit from 20 kW to 15. And the customer's not happy with it. He says this one doesn't get hot enough. So I have a new 20 kW heat strip here and we're gonna swap it out. Not the easiest attic to move around in. There's not much decking. I say a couple weeks ago, time passes so fast that we put it in on 1010. This long extension here.
So there's our heat kit. No power. No power. No power. No power. Okay. Good Lord. Man. Wow. Mm. That's why I carry that big screwdriver in my bag. You never know, man. It gives you a better bite. This opened up to unplug them. Okay. These two in the back. There we go. She's ready to come out of there. There we are. 15 kWs out. Proceed to put the 20 kW in. Oh man, there's no room to sit up here. This one's got a contactor over it, or a 
our contactors, I should say, instead of sequencers. One breaker. The 20 KW. No, there's the other one. I was about to say. two wires that go to the back. This one plugs in one way. So it's kind of dummy proof. Sorry guys, I know this is out of frame, but I'm having to lean down so that I can reach back here. There we go. Okay, I got one in. I'm tying those wires in the back back there. attic I'm having to 
clean. Downward. So I got those two in. Oh, my watch. It's not even on the right buckle. Okay, now these wires. It doesn't matter which one's tie where. Let me see if I can get up on this platform now. But then now uh, you guys won't be able to see if I do that. Because I'll be turned. I'm just going to stay like this. One line of power tied in. ground wires hooked up. are in. And it's grounded. Alright, I'm going to go turn the power back on and jump it out and test it.
Let me put this back on first. Stairs. I've got me a brand new fifteen KW. For next time I need a 15KW, I won't have to buy one. these wires to the plenum. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a piece of plumbing strap around them and strap them to the plenum. wires are out the way. power <laughs> Ooh, 
done. He now has a 20kW heat strip like he wanted. Burn the electricity, baby.
right guys that one's done got the wire supported now where it's out the way it's a good looking job it came out nice hope you guys enjoyed the video